Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science and today I'm going to show you how to make natural hair oils using some volatile silicon replacements. Let me show you how they're made. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this beautifully light and very sprayable hair oil. To do this we need to use a volatile silicon replacement. Now we need a lot of volatility in this product otherwise when we spray it on the hair it will weigh the hair down. This works for all hair types, Caucasian right through to African Caribbean. We just need to alter how much volatility to suit the different hair types. Now to this I'm going to add a very light skin fill ester. This material is another silicon alternative, but it's not volatile. So this material will stay on the hair even when the volatile material has vaporized off and that helps bring the emolliency to the product. I'm then going to add some plant oil. Now this is mainly for the marketing story. I'm going to add some essential oil for the fragrance. And I'm also going to add some antioxidant and that's to protect my natural oils. Then I just stir and that's all there is to it. I have this beautifully light and volatile hair oil that is very sprayable. And that's how simple it is. Now there's a couple of volatile silicon alternatives that work very well in this formula. In this example today, I use Setiol Ultima by BASF. There is also Vegilite 1214 LC by Grant Industries. I find the Vegilite 1214 LC to be a little bit more cushiony while I find the Setiol Ultimate to vaporize at a slightly faster rate. So for African Caribbean hair, I might pick the Vegilite 1214LC. For Caucasian hair, especially damaged and very fine hair like I have, I would prefer the volatility of the Setio Ultimate. Now in this formula, the way to manipulate the residue on the hair, how much emolliency is left on the hair, is to use a little more of that very light dimethicone replacement. Remember that material is not volatile, so that will remain on the hair after the rest of the product has vaporized off. I can also manipulate my input of plant oils, but be careful, you don't want too much plant oil even in products for African Caribbean hair because otherwise the hair will simply be greasy instead of nice and moisturized and have a nice slip and shine to it that the volatile materials will deliver without excess weight or residue. You can of course change the essential oils you use and the plant oils to suit your target market and really make the product your own. But having a large majority of that volatile material as your base is incredibly important. Now at this stage, there is no suitable, fully natural gelling material that would suit this product. So we can't turn it into a more viscous oil, but it's nice and sprayable, so it's still really easy to deliver to the consumer's hair. And you can use this before heat styling, that's perfectly fine too. That will also help remove the excess volatile material for a really weightless finish, but amazing shine. Remember to contact us for a copy of this formula and I've also put some notes in that formula about what to adjust to suit different hair types. Remember the more weightless the finish, the more volatile material you need. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please leave any questions or comments below and remember to subscribe to receive notifications about all our videos. Happy formulating!